do you think you could persuade your sister to make at least a token appearance? I doubt it. Please try. It's your mom. Austin was in the house. He doesn't live here. No. He's Abby's boyfriend. He's sweet and gentle. Who would do this to him? I need you to stay with me, Sophie. Okay. Does Austin have family in the area? No. Sophie, do you know where Austin works? I'm not sure. He's... He's an illustrator for children's books. And how is his relationship with Abby? They were in love. Austin treated her like gold. When was the last time you saw your sister? Yesterday afternoon. Where is she? What's happened to her? That's what we're trying to figure out. We'll let you know as soon as we find anything out. Thank you for your time. But she's okay, right? Because she's my baby sister. We'll let you know. Okay. Agent Lisbon, you said that um, if you found anything, you'd let me know. Have you? No, Sophie, I'm sorry. I got it. You asked me to puzzle it out, I puzzled it out. What? What uh, is it? Well, there's been no ransom demand, so that rules out abduction. Leaves three options for your sister's disappearance. One, she was killed and her body was removed from the compound. Two, she was killed and her body was hidden on the compound. Or three, she killed Austin and fled the scene. No, that can't be. You're hiding something. What? No. Obviously, something about your sister. What is it? No. Oh, come on. You can tell me. You don't know Abby. She would never hurt Austin. You want to believe that, but you know it's not true, don't you? You ever notice that feeling, that physical unwell feeling you get when you know you should say or do something and you don't? Heart pounds, headache, backache. You can feel better immediately if you tell the truth. Right now. Yesterday, I went to the guest house to see Abby. Mm -hmm. Austin was there, and they were arguing. I have never seen them like that. Abby tried to leave, and Austin started to shake her. And he was yelling at her and shaking her. What did Abby do? She hit him in the face. He was bleeding. Then what happened? I don't know, I left. Of course. Well, thank you, Sophie. That was very valuable. Now you should take a little lie down, maybe catch up on some sleep. Okay. When you wake up, you're gonna feel a lot better. Is it Mr. Jane? I wanna talk to Mr. Jane. Where is he? I'll turn my back for a second. You know how he is. He's not here right now, Sophie. What's the problem? I, um, I got this message. I don't know what it means. What message? What are you talking about? To your bitch mom. That's what she gets for messing with Raymond Tubbs. Your sister and her friend were just the beginning. You will reap the whirlwind. 8-8. Eight, eight. I've never heard that voice before. 8-8, eight, eight. what does that mean? It's a code used by white supremacists. The eighth letter of the alphabet, H-H, Heil Hitler. It's blocked. Sophie, we're gonna need your phone for a little while. Get a trace on it. Yeah, you you know. said Abby did this. You said her fingerprint was on the knife. We don't know what this means, but right now you shouldn't be alone. I'm gonna have an agent bring you home. What about Abby? Did these people do something to her? That's what we're gonna find out. Come with me. Okay. Well, there's no easy way to say this. I'm just gonna come straight out with it. Uh, Abby Fitzwilliam is dead. No. Yeah, it's true, Sophie. I'm very sorry for your loss. We don't know all the details as yet, but we will know very soon. <sighs> Where is she? She's hidden in your grandmother's casket. It's quite clever, 